Now today we're doing something that many of you have requested and that's how to test a five terminal relay. Of course, we will add this to our relay playlist. So let's just jump right into this. Now fortunately, testing relays are very, very easy. What we need to do is recreate what's happening in your vehicle. This is really just a switch, that's all it is. So we need to recreate when this is powered up inside the vehicle. So your vehicle has a 12 volt battery, we need to recreate that. So this is an RC car battery pack. If you happen to be in RC cars, this is perfect. It pushes out 12 volts, or you may just have cordless tools. We can also use one of these battery packs. The thing is you want to be careful because many of these tools push out 20 volts and that can blow the relay. So this one is completely exhausted and pushing out roughly 14 volts. So I'm going to use this one. This is just a paper clip cut in half. And then we need a digital multimeter, inexpensive, $20 off Amazon. I'll have links in the description box below if you happen to need one. And this is just two wires with alligator ends. So let's start with this simpler relay, the four terminal relay. And essentially what we need to do again is power this up. So on the battery pack, we have a negative and a positive lead. So I have my paper clip that's cut in half. Place one lead into the negative terminal of the pack. The other one will go into the positive terminal of the pack. That's it. Then I have these wires with alligator ends. Place one lead here. Of course, don't cross the wires. Place another one here. Now, if you take a look at the relay, we have really two series of terminals. We have a vertical and horizontal. So whenever you test the relay, you don't want to place one lead on a vertical terminal and another one on the horizontal. You want to stay within the series. So in other words, if I try powering this up, you should hear a clicking noise. That's a very, very good sign if you hear a clicking noise. But if we do this, nothing happens. And this is a modern relay. This was pulled from a 2006 Acura. On older relays, you may find schematics that tell you how the relay is powered up. In this case, there's nothing. So we need to really do this through process of elimination. But if I place the leads on the other, on the vertical leads, there we go. Okay, so just process of elimination. Now, it sounds like this is a working relay, but we need to confirm it is working. So on the multimeter, we need to do a continuity test. That simply means two points make a connection. Now on the multimeter, it looks like a Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, make sure you're on that setting. And if I touch these two leads now, we have continuity. So I'm just taking these leads, I'm touching the other two terminals. Let me zoom in here to see if we have continuity. If we have continuity, the relay is good. So one lead here, another one right here. There you go. So this is a working relay. Okay, now let's test the five terminal relay. Now one thing I just want to show very, very quickly, regarding the four terminal relay, it tends not to matter where you place the negative and the positive lead. So in other words, if I power this up, so this is clicking on, this is the negative and this is the positive lead from the battery pack, okay? So it's still powering on. If I reverse them, it still powers on, okay? On the five terminal, sometimes that's not always the case. So in other words, let's first try this, the horizontal leads, I have nothing. Take, take a shot of just reversing the leads, okay? Still nothing. Let's do the vertical ones. Nothing here, nothing here. Now you see that little spark there? That tells me this is reversed. So we need to go this way, chances are, and there we go. So now this is powering on. So that's a very good sign. Now let's see if we have continuity. Again, multimeter, turn on, you want that Wi-Fi hotspot. And now, these two terminals over here should make a connection. These two guys right here, let me zoom in. 
let's see if we have continuity and we do that's it that's how you test a five terminal relay now there's also one other test you can do on these relays let me just clean this up real quick now the last test you want to do on a five terminal relay is to see if you have continuity while there's no power hooked up to it so in other words before we had an external battery pack supplying power now that's disconnected but on many five terminal relays there's still a connection inside the relay a working relay so if we take a look on the multimeter I'm still on the continuity setting okay same setting as before and just process of elimination in other words before to power up the relay these two terminals had to be powered up so these two terminals you can quickly cross off the list no need to bother with them these two terminals there's continuity in other words there's they click on in other words when these two guys are powered up so you're not going to get anything here if there's no power hooked up to the con to the relay so what we need to do is test this guy we haven't done anything with this guy yet and along with the other terminals so if I touch this guy nothing happens if I touch this guy we have continuity so this is a fully working relay again if I try the other terminals nothing happens but these two make a connection so this is a fully functional five terminal relay again if I'm going a little too quick just replay this video again once you do it a couple times it's quite simple to test these relays I really sincerely hope this helps a number of you out there as always thank you for watching